Hi everyone, uh, welcome, to, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here at a uh, future technology show with Dennis, who is a uh, co-founder of Tesla. No, so? marketing director. Marketing director, I should have asked <laughs> before, right? Yeah. Um, so this is a Tesla suit, and um, I'm about to jump in and do a VR experience. Just tell me briefly, because it feels really, really nice. What kind of material is it made out of, and what are all of these bits on here and what do they do? Yeah, basically the Tesla suit is smart clothing. Yeah. It contains four systems. Yeah. The first one is haptic feedback system, uh, like a sense of touch. Yeah. The second one is motion capture. Yeah. Uh, to uh, the detect and um, transmit into the uh, digital yeah. um, Version. Right. So this uh, third one is climate control. It's right. a kind of temperature control. You can feel the cold and heat. Yeah. And the uh, last one is biometric system. Right. Uh, it contains from the ECG, yeah. uh, galvanic skin resistance. You can track the electrical uh, activity on right. your skin. Okay. Uh, yes. And. We are planning also to build in the electromyography okay. to track the uh, muscle conditions yeah. uh, and, and and knows what muscles are uh, working or not working, what conditions they are in the dynamic range of uh, in in a period of time, right. monitor them and so on. Okay. So the uh, haptic feedback, uh, as I said before, in the sense of touch, is based on electrical muscular stimulation yeah. and transcutaneal electrical nerve stimulation. So the first one is um, to um, contrast the muscles and oh, I to, see. yes and to you can you can contract the muscle and you can even uh, simulate the resistance yeah. of the wall for example. Uh, you can so will this, will this suit tighten up around my body? Yes. Yes. It will yes. tighten up and squeeze um, all yeah, of this area. Exactly. And yeah. the temperature is it temperature controlled? No. no. Uh, the uh, the temperature uh, in this particular suit there are no temperature control. Okay. The uh, this uh, a couple of suits over there has it, and so the haptic feedback uh, that you can provide you sensations so for that we use the TAN system yeah. and it can simulate the sensations oh, yeah. over the skin surface yeah. uh, transmitting the tiny electrical signals yeah. so and then you can feel what is going on in the game I see. so you can feel the bullet you can feel the um, the stone somebody's yeah, yeah. Window, Yo, yeah. yeah, and so it's quite, um, you can simulate even quite complex sensations, yeah. but you need to combine uh, a lot of technical specs yeah. and combine it in such way that you can feel it comfortable. And in terms yeah, of and, that, there's an uh, SDK for Unity and Unreal yes. that will directly, you, you can actually just program these things yes, within exactly. the software. We have a special software haptic editor, yeah. Skeleton tool. And also we have a kind of uh, tool that can uh, can can play the presets and real time animations. So uh, yeah, for for the Unity and Unreal Engine, we have plugins, yeah. so you can just it's quite pretty straightforward process. Uh, you take the Tesla Suit DLL, yeah. put it into your folder, and just making it easy. Okay. So, in terms of the motion capture, yep. um, you can motion capture to motion builder, I assume? Uh, yeah, for now we are integrated in, in the process of integrating motion builder. Yeah. Will it be uh, on the roadmap that we can have more than one, we can have multiple players doing motion capture yeah. at the same time? We, we are looking into it. So, for now we use um, uh, but we already integrated the haptic feedback system into multiple multiple suits right. simultaneously. Okay. So you can run the um, run the game yeah. from one computer that connected to four suits right. and feel the same sensations as all in the same network. Yeah, in That's the same fantastic. network. Yes, okay. uh, and now we are looking to expand 
this to 16 suits per one computer. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so uh, what, uh, it's quite hard to implement, but just imagine you can uh, run this one game on yeah. super powerful video card yeah. <laughs> from Nvidia, for example, uh, from server card like P5000, and then transmit the signals from one computer to 16 players yes. in one area. Excellent. I mean, the suit is very comfortable. I mean, it's, it's a nice snug fit. You've done really nicely with um, yeah. the actual build. I mean, it, it feels like it's really flexible. I don't feel like I'm carrying it. The, the only thing I'm carrying is actually uh, yeah, that's a battery pack that powers it all, I yeah. guess. But, yeah, exactly. Uh, by the way, uh, we, for now, we are trying uh, and we are implementing and testing the uh, integrated battery yeah. into the fabric. Into this, oh, okay. Yeah, to just to. But, but now it's a development kit, so you, you have to just pull it out and, and change the battery faster. And for the consumer version, it can be inserted into the fabric, easy to use, yeah. easy to wash, oh, and fantastic. so on. Yeah. And speaking of that, when can we expect to see these actually? Uh, you can buy a consumer version. version. Yeah. Basically, in 2020 or 2021. So it's uh, quite so long, just because the market is not ready right sure. now. But the so technology it definitely feels like it. Well, thanks so much for letting yeah. me uh, try this on, and hopefully I'll jump in and throw a headset on. Okay. Uh, I guess um, this is the website, teslasuit.io? Uh, yes, teslasuit.io. And do you have a Twitter handle yourself? Uh, real underscore teslasuit. Okay, thank you yeah. so much for that. Thank you. Um, please hit subscribe and come visit me at digitopiafilm.com and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.